Hello, welcome to Newman News, where we give audiences the inside scoop into what students really get up to when they step inside those school gates. This week, we will be visiting Our Lady of the Assumption, a wonderful Catholic school that caters for all their students' learning needs across a broad range of domains. The team at Newman News have been given unlimited access and will be deep diving into all of the differentiation happening here. We'll give you the who's who of acceleration, the what's what of extracurricular opportunities, and the woo-hoo of student achievement. Welcome to OLA. We are a Newman school. Our teachers cater to all of our gifted and talented learners from years K to 6. Students at OLA have the opportunity to take part in a range of enrichment programs. As a school, we apply the principles of Gagne's differentiated model of giftedness and talent. A range of objective and subjective measures are used to identify the needs of all students in the school, including those identified as being gifted in a range of domains. We will start our tour with the kindergartens and see how they spend their morning. Kindergarten works in three different rooms. Each room had different activities and they are fun and challenging. Students moving between learning spaces is something that continues from kindergarten to year six. The students are always moving to the places that allow them to work best. Across the school, teachers identify the needs of students in ways that are equitable, inclusive and fair and group them accordingly. Every classroom at OLA is a Newman classroom. Teachers use a range of models of differentiation to challenge and extend all students. We are about to meet some Year 2 students who are being challenged in reading. I get to read chapter books that I find interesting. I then discuss the book with Miss Rachel, who teaches me more about the book. Some things I've learned are complex sentences and adverbial phrases. Wow, those are some incredible readers. Let's go to stage three, where we can see some readers who are discovering the hard times of the past. Forget the past. We're about to have some hard times climbing these stairs again. Let's get our climbing legs on and go see those readers. During the Rivka project, we went on an excursion with St. James Glebe to the Jewish Museum in Sydney City. We learned all about the Jewish history and the backstory of the book Rivka. It was a wonderful experience for enhanced readers that can learn more about the novels they read. It's so great to see such a broad range of authentic learning opportunities being used to extend students across the school. Now, let's go see Evan and Sue Min, OLA's prize-winning public speakers. Savannah, I'm right here. What I mostly love in public speaking is that I know how to change my voice to suit the mood, I know how to read and entertain the audience, and I get to really be myself. After four years of not getting past the first round, I managed to become the first student in this school to win the public speaking competition twice in a row. It gives me a chance to open up into my creative side, show people what you can do if you commit, make them have a good time, and maybe even inspire them. Thanks, Evan, for that wonderful performance. Some might call it an inspirational performance, but not me. I am so humble, so very humble. Did I ever tell you about the time that I competed in the finals? It was a sunny day. Okay, Evan, enough about you. Let's cross over to our sports correspondents, Will and Lillian. Sure thing, Savannah. What have you got for us, Will? Thanks, team. Today, we cross over to you from the NRL grandstands where the OLA team has been experiencing great success. I was chosen to go to the Sydney Catholic Schools Rugby League Trial. It was an assuring opportunity to make friends and polish my skills on the field. I was proud to have made it to the third level in Canberra, especially because I was one level away from the State Mary MacKillop team. I was chosen to go to the Sydney Catholic Schools Netball Trial and Touch Trial. I had made it to the second trial for both sports and gave it my best. 
There was a lot of competition because everyone wanted to make the rep team. I know who I'll be tipping in the next footy comp. And now, let's cross over to Amariah. Amariah has had the opportunity this year to develop and extend her skills in netball and touch footy through a Sydney Catholic Schools selection process. Join us for more exciting sports updates tomorrow. Back to you in the studio, Savannah and Evan. Thank you, Will and Lillian. A little change of pace now as we head to stage two. In the learning space we are about to visit, we will see students moving through the curriculum at a pace and level of complexity that matches their readiness and ability. This time in the subject area of religious education. The William model lets us explore deeply into the topic of Advent as our pre-test showed our mastery of the content that the other students are learning about. Some things we have learned about are why Jesus was born in a major and Mary's life as a kid. Now it's time for us to visit some OLA mathematics classes. It is here that we will see students in their natural habitats, chasing their goals like panthers in the jungle. Launching themselves at launch tasks. And diving deep into the content like the majestic southern elephant seal. Let's first visit Year 1, where some students are using Kaplan depth and complexity prompts to build a zoo. We are good at maths and we are chosen to do our Kaplan maths activities, where we build a zoo using mental strategies. Designing a zoo is challenging because there are many ways I can solve a problem and I keep getting feedback on how I can improve from my friends and teachers. If you look closely, we may see some students chasing their math goals right now. A fascinating sight. The teachers monitor students' math goals, so students always have something to work towards. At OLA, accelerative options are accepted practice in mathematics. Let's check in on Subin, Kalo and Leo, who are Year 2 students involved in the OLA Maths Acceleration process. Today, we will see them working alongside their Year 3 peers. I go to Year 4 Maths so I can be challenged. From my perspective, it makes me happy to be accelerated in maths because my thinking is challenged and I have to push myself to be better at maths. Our last foray into the fabulous world of mathematics at OLA sees us spying on the elusive Stage 3 students. How does the process of acceleration occur in Stage 3? This year, accelerated students have been working on a Stage 4 program to meet their educational needs. Being involved in Stage 4 Acceleration Mathematics gave us the opportunity to explore more challenging topics with other students who are working at the same level. This made us feel capable of going beyond our limits and also really thankful that our teachers allowed us to challenge ourselves this way. This is important to us as this class not only allowed us to excel in the subject but also made it enjoyable for us to learn. How are students challenged and extended in the subject of music? Savannah. I'd thought you'd never ask. Since we're talking about creative arts, let's talk about Let's Dance. Yes, let's. To be selected for this program, we had an audition with a piece of choreography. Once selected, we then added onto the choreography at school and chose a piece of music to dance to. Finally, we were able to refine these at a workshop with students from other schools. Evan, you may not know this, but during lockdown, I competed in a competition. <gasps> a hot dog eating competition? Sadly not. But it was almost as fun. It was the Sydney Catholic School's Lockdown Dance Festival. That 
That was amazing. You created such a strong atmosphere. It's great to celebrate your achievement. Stop. It was nothing. It's almost like a living artwork. Speaking of art, I heard the news that three artworks were selected as winners in the Christmas Story Art Competition. Yeah, they all look good enough to go into the roof. I can't wait to see the works the Stage 3 students created. Our time in the Christmas Art Competition was a very interesting experience. We all had different scriptures to choose from and completed unique artworks that reflected Jesus' birth. Completing this has given us stronger connections with Jesus' birth and a deeper understanding of everything when we could visualize it. We enjoyed our time painting, coloring, and exploring a variety of art techniques within this time. Overall, it was a very memorable experience for all of us and we hope to share our talents and work. What a great opportunity for those who excel in the domain of visual arts. What's next on our agenda? I think it's about time that we visit Calvin as he works on his independent project. And we came up with a special project where I could use Minecraft to build a treehouse. First, I had to research real life and fantasy treehouses so I could include some of their features in my creation. Next, I constructed my design in a program called Floor Planner. This gave me a design to work from. Then I created my treehouse in Minecraft. Mr. Todd challenged me to include renewable energy sources in my design. This project has really challenged me. That reminds me of another exciting project happening in the school, the OLA coding project. When I am playing my game, I click on a sprite and, and the character changes. The aim is to showcase different gallery regions, style, evolutions and their names. I wanted to code this since I am a f fan of Pokemon and I enjoy coding on Scratch. We created chase games, basic games, animations and a whole lot of other things. One of the projects that I made is a chase game where Crab needs to chase a star. I learned, I learned to be resilient and not to give up. Should we make a move over to our lace chess team? Yes, let's check how they're getting on, mate. In chess, we learn to be more strategic, which can help us become better and smarter. It is fun to play with other people, to see their skills and learn from them. We can challenge each other in chess. By playing chess, we learn new skills and strategies and use those to play in other games that are similar to chess. Chess is very educational and fun. From knights and queens to plants and trees. Let's head outside and get our hands dirty with Miss Antonina. When we go to our outdoor learning spaces, we learn the importance of nature, how to care for plants and create a sustainable garden. These bees here are stingless. Look. They look like ants. They do. They look like ants. Yes, they look like ants. I love how being outdoors can support our health and well-being as well as our educational needs. Now, we are going to meet some of our Year 6 graduates. OLA has a strong partnership between its secondary feeder schools to enable collaboration and smooth transition for gifted and talented students. The opportunity to be extended doesn't end when we leave OLA. Four students from the 2021 OLA graduating class have been selected to be part of the Newman stream in our feeder Catholic high schools. If you are selected to be part of Newman Selective Gifted Education Program, it means you are placed in a class with other gifted students. It also means your journey to reach your individual potential has just begun. Thanks for joining us for the 2021 Roundup of Newman News. We've loved having you join us for this epic journey around OLA and we hope you can join us again in celebrating some more achievements of the students at OLA. Thank you from all of us here at Newman News. Bye for now. Bye for now.